Okay, this is gonna be quick and dirty. Um, sorry for the quality, but I just wanna go over a couple points to help some folks out. Um, there's a couple posts uh, on the different forums as well as some videos online talking about relocation of the front control arm pivots, uh, specifically dealing with the uppers. That would be this one right here. Uh, normally, this one is located in this position down here. And if you look in the manual, it actually shows it being in this upper position. Now, what I've found is if you move it to the upper position, that does a couple different things. Um, one of the things that it does is it changes your caster angle by pushing this forward. And when you change your caster angle, you actually reduce the steering. So instead of your tire going front to back, it's actually going like this. So you reduce the steering performance. So a couple things. Um, first off, when you relocate this, one of the things I recommend you do as well is you relocate the lower pivot. So the lower pivot normally goes in this location. If you move it inboard, what that does is that helps to center the wheel within the wheel opening. Once you've done that though, the problem you're gonna run into is again, this is going to be canted so that your steering performance is affected. So what you can do is reduce the length of this arm here. So you're gonna to have to remove it, unscrew the two ends, and basically remove 0.20 inches from each end. So you're reducing the overall length of this by roughly a half inch, 0 0.40 inches. Once you've done that and you relocate this pivot, here, see if I can do this with one hand here. What you'll find is a couple different things. Number one, the wheel will be centered in the wheel well, and number two, you'll see that your caster angle is pretty much vertical when compared to the rest of the chassis and that it really doesn't change as you compress the steering, or excuse me, compress the suspension. This gives you consistent steering throughout the range of motion of the suspension. So again, move your lower pivot inboard. You're gonna have to drill out the plastic plate down here to make a hole for that to thread into because there isn't one from the factory. That'll move that inboard and help to center your wheel. The other thing is, again, you're gonna move your upper pivot up to this point instead of down low, and you're going to reduce the overall length of this shaft on each side by 0 0.40 inches or 0 0.20 inches on each end of that shaft. I hope this helps. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me.